where we talk to interesting people here at WIU and the surrounding communities. I'm your host, Cameron Steele. Today we'll be talking about the NBA with Nathan. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Pleasure's all mine. We'll be right back to talk about more basketball with Nathan after this short break. That's me, Chris Lovingwood, a senior broadcasting major at Western Illinois University. From networking in DC at a national conference to getting hands-on experience behind the news desk and in the field, the opportunities I have at WIU are preparing me for a successful media career. This is my story. What will your success story be? Welcome back to Western Weekly. Today we're, going, we're talking about the 2014-2015 NBA season with Nathan. So Nathan, on paper, who is your favorite right now? On paper, I'm gonna have to go with the Bulls. I just, I always liked Chicago okay. and Derrick Rose coming back, you know. So you, you think he's gonna, you know, re return finally? He has to. He blew one knee out, he blew the second knee out. They both should be perfectly healthy. He's gonna come back and I think he's gonna have the season of his lifetime. If he doesn't, He's, he's done forever. If he, if he gets hurt again or if he just doesn't perform? If he gets hurt again. If he doesn't perform, I, which I think the only reason he's not going to perform is if he gets hurt again. Okay. I mean, if he's healthy, he'll perform. If he gets hurt again, I'm going to have to say that that will probably be the end of Derrick Rose. Oh, okay. So, um, do I have a, a, a Rookie of the Year candidate already? or Jabari Parker. Jabari I Parker. mean, he was, he was my favorite. Uh, college basketball player last year. I think he's better than Andrew Wiggins. Okay. I think he's better than technically Joel Embiid and all of them. Uh, I think he's better. He, he's bigger, stronger, more powerful. I think he has better shot. I just think that's going to be the rookie of the year. So that's, is that what you say separates him from Embiid and Smart and Randall and all those guys? Yeah. Is he, his, and he's Canadian. I mean, no, isn't no Andrew Wiggins oh. is Canadian. I'm, I'm I'm stupid over here, <laughs> but uh, he's from yeah he's from Chicago. I just right. think he's so he's strong, he's powerful, he has a shot, he's smart, he knows what to do, and right. he's playing on the team that he wanted to play on. Okay. So I think that that has something to do with it too. Do you think it's it's safe to say that Chicago is the breeding ground for basketball players? Totally, definitely. I Chicago has the be the best players come out of Chicago. Okay. I, it has been like that for a while now. So you got a, a MVP, pre pre pick MVP. I'm gonna have to say Derrick Rose. Damn, Derrick just, Rose or LeBron James, because okay. you know Le, LeBron's back with Cleveland. Okay. They're gonna love him. He's gonna do great because he's back in his hometown. But that's yeah. I think Derrick Rose might get the MVP over him though. Okay. Well, that's our show for today. I'd like to thank our guest, Nathan, for coming in and talking with me. Tune in next time for another segment of Western Weekly. Thank you, sir, for coming. No problem. It's a pleasure.